Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking, your number one source of Tezos news on the tube. Now, today I want to walk you guys through the new Plenty AMM slash DEX. It's very, very interesting and they have a really high TVL compared to the other AMMs right now on Tezos. However, there is an extra step required in order to be able to go ahead and jump on this platform and start that lucrative farming. Now, before we get started, if you like this channel and you want to hear more about amazing Tezos projects, be sure to hit the subscribe and the notifications bell below. And please follow me on Twitter at MacTezos. This will ensure that you get the latest up-to-date news so you can stay profitable in the Tezos ecosystem. Now, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to take you guys to Kukai. Now, in order to get Tezos, of course, you need to get Tezos on an exchange. Then, today, I'm going to walk you guys through the easiest way to get a Tezos wallet and that is through Kukai and direct authentication. Now direct authentication, it uses your Google, Reddit, Twitter or Facebook account. It's not written here I guess. And you can go to log in with the direct auth, deposit Tezos directly into those accounts using and it'll automatically give you a Tezos address. And this method is very very convenient however just remember that when you're using direct auth it is a mixture of the authentication from the actual company itself, Twitter. So that means you don't own your private keys. They don't own your private keys either. It's 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 encrypted with your password or whatever. So there's no way they can access your 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 crypto. However, just realize that if these companies go down someday, then your crypto is in there like 20, 10 years from now, then you're probably not going to be able to access your crypto. So you need to be very careful when using this direct authentication method. Let's go ahead and go into direct auth and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and do that. It's very simple. Today I'm going to be using my Twitter account. Like I said, my Twitter is at MacTezos and you can see my beautiful uh, skeleton tezzard pirate. And basically, I've already uh, allowed this uh, to log in, so it's there might be one extra step for you guys as the end user, but it's pretty simple. It takes a few seconds. In order to get started on the Plenty DeFi, you need to go ahead and you need to switch Tezos for Plenty, and you cannot do that using the Plenty platform. So what you need to do is you need to go to Kweepuswap and connect Kweepuswap to your Temple or to your Kukai wallet, and then swap uh, Plenty for Tezos. So, let's go ahead and connect our wallet. And if this window doesn't pop out the first time, that means that it's not working. So what you need to do is go ahead and try again. Can't click the cancel button and hit connect to another wallet. And then it'll pop up right here. But it looks like it's working this time. It takes a second to load, so you just gotta wait. Okay, see, this little pop-up appeared right here. Now you just hit approve. And you head back to Kweepu Swap. Kukai Wallet has granted permission. So what you need to do is go ahead and click on Tez right here. And then scroll down to type So I'm going to put these Haribo Gumis on my keyboard. Plenty. There we go. Mm -hmm. So let's go for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and swap five Tezos. For however many plenty that is. Okay, so you can see right now 5 Tezos is actually equal to 11 plenty. And you can go ahead and hit swap right there. Once you hit swap, it'll open up a verification pop-up menu over here on your wallet tab. Okay, so popped up right there. Go ahead and hit confirm. Then it's going to confirm with your one auth authentication. Alright, looks like we're good. Hit authorize app. Here's how I like how I did that. Woo! There we go. Now it's authorized, so you can see the transactions going through. Confirming. I got my 11.857 plenty. So it takes about 30 seconds or less to approve normally. And once that's approved, while that's approving, let's go ahead. I'm going to log out again. So I actually logged out. I'm sure you guys had to log into here. So from here on the plenty website, you see, you go on the Plenty main website, then you hit connect wallet up here. Go ahead and click on Kukai. So, like I said before, if it doesn't pop out with a new pop out tab, you just have to go ahead and click the X and then do it again. But it looks like it's working this time. You can see a little loading in the corner. Just wait for a second. And it looks like the balance went down by five. That means I have some Plenty. Actually, you can go ahead and check it out now. Okay. Looks like it is connected. 
Cool guy. Oh, look, it's like it popped up right here. Okay, so that popped up in my other, earlier tab. So they hit connect. Okay, so from here we can go to swap, and you can see all the different. Hmm? Okay, it's fine. Okay, so look, it's, it's connected. Okay, cool. We can turn on the dark mode, but it's easier on the eyes. It's a little dark mode icon up there. Uh, from here, I'm going to show you guys. They have a swap section, a farm section. So. You can see all the different farms. Oh, they have a plenty Kweepu pool down here. I did not know that. I didn't see that. Oops. So from here, well, the kind of information you want to go look for is pretty much just the APR. The APY is like compound interest, so it's kind of hard. It's usually really high numbers. It's better just to look at the APR. Much easier to figure out what's the good ones. So it looks like a plenty Kweepu is pretty good, and plenty Weth is pretty good. And Weth is really nice because it's just wrapped Ethereum from the Blender app. So you can actually take your, your wrapped Ethereum straight from the Ethereum network and pull it straight onto here. Um, and they have plenty in wrap LP. Oh, that's really nice. And plenty in TZ, BTC, and plenty in Uno. So it looks like the best ones is the plenty in the smack. Plenty of smack. Plenty of smacking. So, because of that, I'm going to go ahead and just buy some smack and buy some plenty and put it in here. And it looks like there's double rewards until September 16th. That's another four days. Okay, so let's go over to swap. And we're going to go ahead. Today, we're just going to go ahead and swap for smack. It's a new one. Okay. So, you just wait for it to load a little bit. And it's going to show my balance of my plenty right here. So you see it says 11 plenty. So if you have 11 plenty, normally you want to like take, if you just want to do one pool, just go ahead and divide that by, by two. So 11 divided by two is 5.5, .5, and that'll give you 114 smack. So you can go ahead and just hit the little swap button right here. And see, it, it pulls you to this page, and then hit confirm swap. And then you want to go to your Kukai wallet. Okay, you can see here it pops up, hit confirm. Authorize app, and there you go. Boom. Snap, dizzle, pop. Manizzle. Okay, now let's go back to the Plenty app, and you can see the transaction was submitted here. The Kukai wallet successfully submitted the transaction. So just go ahead and wait for a second, and it takes about mm, 10, to 10, 10 to 20 seconds, sometimes maximum of 30 seconds for it to be confirmed. All right, so it looks like the transaction was submitted. So we can go ahead and go over to liquidity from there. And when you go to liquidity, you, when you select, uh, what do we do, smack? So here it should show you can add liquidity. So from here, you can click on usually, uh, from here, they don't really have the intuitive way I was hoping. But basically what you can do is you can double click on this little 114 and click right here. And then it'll basically put down this much uh, plenty. It'll put down exactly uh, the equivalent amount of plenty. This is how you do it. Go ahead and add liquidity. So now go over to Kuka Wallet here, and it'll pop up with another confirmation. Okay, so the pop up pops up right here. Just go ahead and hit confirm. The authorize app. And it's sending the transaction through, so we can go ahead and pop over to the Plenty site, and it'll have a little pop-up here, and it'll say, Confirm Transaction. Okay, looks like the transaction was successfully submitted. So, probably don't have to wait too long, honestly. Uh, from here, with the Plenty Farm, actually, um, from here, this is there's still one more step. You need to add liquidity, which is basically it's adding this one to this one, and then they put them together so people can trade between the two, so there's less slippage between the two. So you're kind of contributing to the ecosystem by adding uh, your coins, and 
um, there's a fee for uh, trading back and forth, and then people who hold in the LP pool actually get a percentage of that fee. So this is separate from the farming, which you're going to do next. Anyways, so so that's pretty much it. Should be done by now. I think it still says loading, but I'm pretty sure it's done. So we can head over to this. So you can see here, uh, this is my balance is 78.77. Go ahead and hit the max. Hit max. Um, when you hit max in this section, it might give you an error. Okay. So this is actually these decimals are way too many. You need to cut off like a lot of them. So go ahead and cut off everything but the last two decimals is what I usually do. It's not going to make that much difference in your rewards, and it's going to make it much more likely the transaction will go through the first time. I mean, the, the difference in rewards is basically zero. Uh, it just saves you a couple a couple minutes of trying to troubleshoot it. So go ahead and hit confirm stake. Okay, that was a lot faster that time. So, looks like it successfully submitted the transaction here. So, we're good. And from there, in order to claim your rewards, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the next two steps. You just wait a few minutes. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait a few minutes. And while we're waiting, I'm going to do a little dance for you. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter. And hashtag the okay. things. Pump it. No. You know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump. It's been too long. We need to pump it. Yeah. Pesos to be pesos. Man, we stuck in that queso. Yeah, we getting that cheese. Clean and that All right. We are back. And I think we might have enough rewards in order to go ahead and claim them. So go over to you want to go over ahead and click on the plenty icon right here in the top left hand corner. Click on that and it'll tell you, oh look at that, you got you got plenty to harvest. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and harvest that plenty. Harvesting the plenty. Then hit confirm, authorize app. Boom bada bang bada boom. Bada bing bada bang. Sweet! Confirmed. Transaction through. Then we're going to go ahead and we can head over to the ponds. Sorry, pools. And the pool section, this is where you single stake your earned plenty. Now, with the pools, uh, sorry, I meant to mention this before. With the farms, there is a withdrawal period here. So when you go ahead and withdraw, there is a greater than nine days or less than nine days. For most of these, it's the same. I, I think they're all the same, actually. Did I, did I change them? Oh, okay. So anything less than nine days is a 4% withdrawal fee, which means you're going to take a 4% hit. Anything greater than nine days is 0%. And the reason they made it 0% is because you're providing a service and taking the risk of, of getting impermanent loss. However, if you don't want to take that risk of impermanent loss, you can just buy plenty straight and go ahead and put it in this little pool. Now when you put it in the pool, there is always a 4% withdrawal fee, as you can see. So anything greater than 9 days is 4%. It never goes below that. So just remember that you need to keep it staked there for quite some time in order to make that, that 4%. I think right now that time is about mm, 2 weeks. So you make that 4% in 2 weeks, you can withdraw, you'll come out with the same amount of plenty as you went in with. However, it's recommended to just keep it long term because plenty is going to be the sushi swap of Tezos. Now, go ahead and hit stake here, little stake button, and you can see it has my balance right here of 0.88. That includes the rewards I just harvested. So hit max. And when you hit max, a lot of times it's going to fail like before. So I would just delete those last decimals because the max decimals I think on plenty is like six or something like that. So I would just put these three decimals and then you won't have any errors. So hit confirm. Go to Kukai Wallet. Hit confirm. Hit authorize app. And bam, you're done. So now you are officially staking plenty as well in both the farms and in the pools. 
All right, that's it, guys, for the tutorial today. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter or on Telegram. I'm in the, I'm in the Plenty chat. And, yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and hashtag the things. Pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.